Welcome to another Eclipse. In this video we're going to review the review status options that are available to you through Blackboard. Here I'm, I'm in an online course under the assignments area and I've added an external link to the eLearning student orientation. I did that by clicking on the external link button. I put a description telling my students what I wanted them to do and a little note on it saying that once they've reviewed the orientation to click on the mark reviewed button on the right and this action item will be considered completed. Now let me show you sort of what that means. I added this link and I can modify that link, change the URL and title and description and things. Under the manage option I get some additional tools for adaptive release, and one called review status. Click on the review status and by default review status is disabled. I have enabled review status on this link and then submit. Now you'll notice in the assignments area that uh, it will say enabled review. If I toggle to my display view you'll notice my link same descriptions and the mark reviewed button displays on the right hand side. Your students will see something very similar to this. In fact I'm going to hop over now to a student view. This is Adam in the course as a student and I've gone to the assignments area and there I see e-learning student orientation. I'm supposed to take this. I click that. It would open the link to the orientation and then after I've done it if I follow the instructions and click on the mark reviewed button as specified in my text it changes to a little check mark and says reviewed. Now as the instructor this helps me because I often see where people are trying to require students to sort of just check off things that, and that they've completed as they go through and to make them so that they can see whether or not a student has in fact checked that item off and completed that task. Um, sometimes in lieu of, of another tool they're, they're creating quizzes uh, which say something like uh, uh, I have completed this task true or false or submit a form that says I Adam Brooks have completed this task. Um, this review option gives you pretty much the same result. The students just check a box and you just make a little note. And they see progressively as they look through their content what they have checked off as completed or here I can undo it, what they haven't checked as completed. So um, here's a, an option and I'm going to hop back to the instructor view and as an instructor I can go to my control panel and I can look at my performance dashboard and here I can see my students and I can see the review status and nothing has been reviewed it's marked as completed reviewed now going back to my student view I'm a student I mark this as reviewed and the instructor looks at again let's let's update this performance dashboard and I see ah Adam Brooks student here has in fact checked at least one item as reviewed and I can click on that and in fact see all of the items and if there were multiple, say he had checked six items, I could see the six items that Adam has checked as reviewed. The other thing that's kind of nice is that um, I can view his grades and other things here. Um, there's one other area I can go to. Here it is. This is if you click on the adaptive release options it does a pop-up window but if I look at Adam Brooks student I want to know specifically where uh, this Adam Brooks student had uh, had checked things as reviewed and where he hadn't I, I click on this adaptive release I get a little pop-up box like this and then I can browse in the class and you'll see here see how this says checked so I can actually look through the course and see all of the options that he has or has not marked as completed so there it's checked because he, he does have it completed here. I'll go back under my student view. Let's unreview it. So now it's no longer marked as reviewed. And again, if I'm the instructor and I look through Adam's profile and I want to see, oh, see, he hasn't marked this as completed. 
I, the instructor, can then contact this student and, and let him know that, uh, that he needs to complete the orientation and if he has done it and not check the box to go back and do that. So um, it does not put the results in the gradebook. Uh, with a quiz or uh, an assignment in Blackboard, you would in fact add a, a column into your gradebook. Uh, so if you want this in your gradebook view, this would not be the option for you. However, oftentimes people um, end up with a lot of entries in their gradebook uh, for action items that aren't necessarily assessment items. And so this would allow you to um, maintain your action items and, and allow students to review and check those off without putting them into your gradebook and, and making that large and more difficult to manage. So that is it for our overview of the uh, review status. Um, I will, for good measure, show you again how to create one from scratch. And let's go to, to our control panel. Let's go to an assignments area. Let's add, and this time instead of adding an external link, let's just add an item. And we'll say re read chapter one We'll do something like read chapter one as the title. We'll say read chapter one of your book. We'll say pages 10 through 40. When done, click on the review button to mark this action item as complete. Just for example, give them some, tell them what to do, give them instructions for checking it off with the review status option. Submit. I get a confirmation. I then go to my manage option. Review status. Enable it. Submit. Get another confirmation. Now if I go back to my assignments, there it is. So let's go as a student. Go to my assignments. There's the external link. This is the read chapter one. And if I've completed that, I just check it, marked off, done, move on to the next action item. Does not show up in the gradebook, but it does allow me, again as the instructor, to go to the control panel, performance dashboard, see the student, see what he's checked off as having completed, reviewed, or not reviewed here in the, in the right-hand column. And it also allows me to browse that student's browse the structure of the class and see what items the student here has checked off as well. So I could browse chapter by chapter or week by week depending on how I've structured my class and see how that student's performing. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching this Eclipse.